Hey, what's up everybody? It's Robert from Kapwing, and I spent entirely too long today trying to figure out how to make this tweet right here. It says, please work. Maybe you've seen these on Twitter before. It's four separate images that come together perfectly to make one image. You'll see if I click here, these are each just a small segment of a larger image. Now I'm starting to see this meme all over Twitter these days and it's actually kind of difficult to pull it off. Like, look how perfect that is. So how do they do this? Well, I've spent the time figuring this out today, so you don't have to. You can do this in just a few clicks over on kapwing.com. We're a free content creation platform where you can make all kinds of videos and memes just like these ones. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a please work meme that'll work every single time, no matter what image you're using. So let's go over to the studio and see how it works. So we're here on kapwing.com slash studio. And the first thing we're gonna do is click this big blue get started button. Once we're in here, you'll click start with a blank canvas and that'll take you into the studio to start working. So for this image today, I'm gonna use everyone's favorite money lender, Mr. Tom Nook. So I've got this image of him and I'm ready to start converting this into four separate images for my tweet. So the very first thing you wanna do is up here in the output size in the top right hand corner, we're gonna to wanna to change this to 200 by 100. And then we can adjust Tom to fit into that frame. And the reason we're doing that is because 200 by 100 is the size that Twitter is gonna crop each of your in individual images to when you put four images together into a two by one. So now that we've got our size here, we're gonna click on our image and then we're gonna click this crop button up here in the top right. So now you'll see we've got the whole image here and I'm gonna start by just cropping out what looks like the top left section of my post. So the way you wanna think about this is each time we do a crop, you're gonna to wanna to be cropping an image that'll fit into your four panel image. So essentially we would like start here then we would do over here down here, and then over here. So we'll start with just this top corner here. Looks like we're going to about almost his entire nose. And I'm gonna click done cropping. Now, something that you definitely wanna make sure of before you publish here is click on this custom 200 by 100 again, and click done and make sure that it resizes to 200 by 100. It's essential to make it work here. So then I'm also gonna adjust my title to Tom Nook one, because we're gonna do this four separate times. So I've got my top left corner here, Tom Nook one, and I click publish. And that's what it's gonna look like. So as soon as I'm done, I will click download. And then that is saved into my downloads now. And I will click edit again. So I'm back in my image. I've got the first uh, section done and I'm gonna click crop again. And you'll see here, Kapwing remembers where we cropped our last image. So this part's also important. You wanna drag this bar to meet this bar and try to line it up as well as you can. So I've got it lined up right there. And then I'm just gonna to go to the other side of the image. So if it's not totally perfect, that's okay. If the height's a little off, that's fine. It's still gonna look good in Twitter. And then I've got the top right section of my post. So I'll click done cropping and again, I'm gonna to wanna to click here, custom 200 by 100 and click done again to make sure that it crops it to the right size. This is gonna be the top right image. We'll call this Tom Nook 2. This titling makes it easier when you're actually posting to Twitter because you can remember which image is which because you have to put them into the post in a certain order. So we'll click download on that. Now, I'm, again, I'm gonna click edit, highlight my image, click crop. I'm gonna drag these bars down to meet these bars and down to this corner and that's the bottom right section, done cropping. Again, I will click 200 by 100, done. Make sure it sizes correctly. This is Tom Nook 3. So you get an idea of how this is gonna work. We've got the third section here. Didn't mean to click that twice, oh well. I'll click edit again, and we'll go for the final crop here. So I click crop, I'm gonna drag these bars over to meet these bars, and drag these over to the left side. So now we've got the whole image in there. Make sure that I'm cropping this to the 200 by 100, done. And then Tom Nook 4, publish and download. So now we have four separate images we've cut out of Tom Nook here. And this is the fun part. We get to see, did it work? So we'll go over to Twitter, we'll click tweet. And something important to remember 
Doesn't really make sense, but you wanna make sure you drag these in in the order of one, two, four, three. And you'll see what I mean here in a sec. So I'm gonna drag image number one up. There we go. Image number two. Okay, it doesn't look quite right, but Twitter hasn't finished cropping yet, so bear with me. Next, we're gonna add in image four. And that image is actually gonna go over here on the left once we add in image three. And there we go. You see one, two, three, four. Everything's lined up perfectly. It looks like we got the crop almost exact. And you know, you can tweet whatever you want. The go-to is please work, but because you did this tutorial, you know it's gonna work. So you can really say whatever you want. And that's about all there is to it. Uh, four separate crops, all at 200 by 100 in the Kapwing Studio here, titling them one, two, three, and four to make it easier to remember which one you need to drop in in which order once you go to tweet them and you're done. So if any of that um, didn't make sense, just go back and watch the first two crops that I did. Those really set the standard for how you're gonna do all of them. And then it's just a matter of fitting them together like a puzzle here. So it took me a while to figure out how this stuff works, but it's actually pretty simple and can be done pretty quickly with just four separate crop jobs inside of Kapwing. So this is how you do the please work meme to so cut any image into four separate images to bring them perfectly together in a post on Twitter. And these are super popular right now and a lot of people do not know how to do them. So you can go and impress your friends and your followers. Um, my name is Robert. I'm making new tutorials like this all the time. So if you found this helpful, please drop us a like down below and consider subscribing to our channel. Every time I come across a cool meme like this that I can't exactly figure out, I do my best to uh, get to the bottom of it and make a tutorial for you guys here on YouTube. So please subscribe to the channel if you like that sort of thing. We'll be back with more videos soon and I will see you next time.